Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up retro achievements on your retro arch emulator and it's a really simple process. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the description and click on the link to come over to the retro achievements website. Once you're here, you're going to create a new account which can be found on the top right hand side of the page. And after you do that, they're going to send you an email and you can verify your account with that email. On the site, you can tell which games have achievements available in them by going to Site Pages and selecting the console that you'd like to see the games for. Here you can see which games have achievements, and by selecting a game, you can see what achievements you can unlock. I suggest checking out the site a little bit more on your own. I'm only going over what you really need to know. They have a whole bunch of cool stuff like achievement competitions and other things like that you might be interested in. Now that you know how to use the site and your account setup, we're going to open up RetroArch go to settings and then configuration and we're going to enable save configuration on exit. I've had problems with this emulator not saving stuff when I'm doing things so this will prevent that from happening. So we're going to go back and then we're going to go down to achievements and on this page the first thing we're going to do is enable achievements which is the top option. Then we're going to go down to username. Here you're going to enter the username that you made on the Retro Achievements website. After you finish this, go down to Password and type in your Retro Achievements website password as well. After these two things are entered, you have the option to enable Hardcore Mode. Hardcore Mode will disable save state and other features of your emulator, but it will allow you to earn Hardcore Retro Achievements. Then just go ahead and enable that last option. Then we're going to go back, we're going to go down to User, then Accounts, then Retro Achievements, and we're just going to make sure our information signed in. If it's not there, do like we did on the last page and fill it in, then restart the emulator. What we have to do now is download cores that are compatible with Retro Achievements on RetroArch. This is a list of compatible cores. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. You can do this on your own, or you can follow along with me, because I'll be showing you which cores I use. After you open up RetroArch again, go to Load Cores, and then scroll down to the bottom and click on download core. The first core we're going to get is for Game Boy and Game Boy Color. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but I call it Gambit. So we're going to go ahead and scroll on down and find it in the list and download it. Next up is Game Boy Advance, and for that I like to use VBAM, and that's right here on the list, and you can go ahead and select that and download it. The next core we're going to download is for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I like to use FCEUMM. Emux works great as well. Next up is Nintendo 64, and I like to use Moopin 64 Plus, which is right here. Next is the Sega Genesis Master System and all the Genesis add-on consoles, and I really like to use Sega Plus GX. It works really well, but Pico Drive also works just as well. For Super Nintendo, I like to go with SNES 9X 2010. And finally, one of my favorite consoles, the Turbo Graphics or PC Engine, will work just fine with Beetle SGX or Beetle PCE Fast. And now all we have to do is load up a game. And when loading up a game, all we have to make sure that we do is select one of the retro achievement compatible cores. And after logging in, you'll see you get greeted on the screen, and it'll say how many achievements are in the game and how many you have unlocked. To check your achievements in game, you can do that at any time by going to this quick start menu, scrolling down to achievements list, and it'll show you the list of achievements that you've unlocked and that can be unlocked in the game, and you can do the same thing with hardcore achievements. When you get an achievement in the game, you'll see a pop up on the bottom left hand corner of your screen like you're seeing on mine right now. And that's it. Now you're all ready to earn yourself some retro achievements. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a ton of other content about emulation and setup guides you might find useful as well. You guys have a good one.